What's going on, Mama Llamas? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Antonia's Legacy. So it looks like Miss Kennedy O'Neill does have a crush on Arthur, but out of the sweet, sweet kindness of Antonia's heart, she did go ahead and decide to invite her um, just to be kind because this is her biological relative, the only one that she knows. So of course she's going to invite Kennedy. Um, but if you couldn't tell from that whole text message fiasco, Antonia does kind of seem a little jealous. Definitely not the kind of jealousy that like causes trouble and, you know, especially pain. Um, it's just, uh, something that she's feeling right now and it's kind of weird. It's kind of spooky because she doesn't really know what kind of feeling she has for Arthur. But, um, our dad said, are you still coming to my costume party? What? For Festival of Lights? Um, I'm going to politely decline, dad. We do have plans, um, with our friends tonight. So we are having a seasonal party. I just did that so everybody would for sure show up. Um, and it's going to be at the Newcrest Winter Festival, which happens every single year and this is the first time Antonia is going to be going, which is really exciting. She loves winter, and her birthday is actually tomorrow, which is double the excitement. Um, but yeah, she's feeling a little weird. She's actually feeling flirty right now um, from the mirror. She's kind of like pumping herself up a bit, and I'm not sure why. Maybe she's like rehearsing. I don't know. For what? I have no freaking idea. Um, but yeah, so we'll just we'll see how that plays out. She She's feeling something about, about Kennedy liking Arthur. Kennedy is very vocal um, of how she feels about Arthur, but it looks like it is almost time for us to leave. So I'm going to have her stop doing what she's doing. I do know that after she broke up with Tag, there was just this big, what are you doing? <gasps> oh my gosh, not before the freaking festival oh my gosh i swear to god slice of life the self woohoo thing it's literally gonna be the freaking death of me also look at this like, cute ass outfit oh my gosh i love antonia i love her sense of style she's amazing but please please don't masturbate before <laughs> oh dear god okay anyways um so it's about to start now yeah so seasonal party is about to begin are you ready to start um blah blah, blah. okay yeah so let's start um but like i was saying what was i saying shoot oh okay so after she broke up with tag um there's just this huge like relief on her like she felt like she was holding in a breath for like four months <laughs> um or however long they did it and now she feels finally free right and she was really bothered by the fact that she was like kind of getting butterflies around arthur while she was with um tag which is like it it's normal i mean when you're in a new i don't I don't know if it's normal. I don't know. I don't know anything about relationships. And I say that and I'm in one. But uh, you know what I mean? Welcome to the Newcrest Winter Festival, guys. This is the place. Isn't it crazy? I love the big tree in the middle. It's so gorgeous. Um, 
I got this off the gallery. I don't remember who it was from, but I'll be sure um, to say their name down below. But I did go ahead and add, you know, the quote unquote important people to our family just so we can kind of like keep everybody together and stuff. But, um, ooh, Mary Ellen's here. Did I invite her? I don't even remember, but it looks like Arthur's talking to her. Okay. Um, but yeah, so this is the first time we've had Arthur in our household. So this will be very interesting. But dehydrated. Oh, that's from the slice of life. Okay, I'm just going to exit that out but there's literally honestly so much to do here um we have a ice skating rink over here and then whenever the vendor shows up we can definitely get something to eat because she is getting just a little bit hungry um and then there's a bonfire over here it looks like everybody is here salim showed up and here is kennedy of course um and then mariel is here too what you doing girl she's making herself a cup of coffee i guess or tea um oh lag okay um so let's see what do we want to do first I kind of want to um, do a little bit of ice skating. So let's invite to skate Arthur, uh, Mila, Reagan, Mariella, Bella, and Sleem. I feel like, oh, I forgot Kennedy. Oh my gosh, I didn't mean to do that on purpose. Oh my gosh, what if Kennedy is like, wow, you didn't invite me to skate? How dare you? Oh my gosh, but look at the... Oh! Are you okay, baby? Oh no. Oh my gosh, this girls don't have any pants on. Holy crap. Um, but oh look how cute. Oh my gosh, I just pray that into oh. Of course she would fall on her ass. I <laughs> I was expecting. <laughs> Why is everybody falling down? I'm so Oh my gosh, but look at the snowflake. <laughs> okay, I can't get over it. <laughs> oh my Okay. Okay, Alec. Calm down. <laughs> Okay, Allie, I think we need to stop doing this. Um, so I think everybody's gonna take a break from roller skating. I think that would be a very, very pleasant idea. Okay, but Tony's getting really hungry and it's getting a little late. Um, so let's go ahead and order a hot dog and then maybe uh, Arthur can order something too. So let's do, uh, I feel like he would get a veggie burger. I don't know why. He's not vegetarian. I just feel like he would. <laughs> I feel like he's like the humanitarian type of guy that actually what I do want to do, I don't know where she is. Um, I want to find Kennedy and see what she's up to. Is she here? I do um, want to kind of talk to her. Nah, man, she just chilling with Cassandra Goff in the freaking bathroom. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm gonna add her to the family as well. Um, but is she getting her hot dog? Okay, and he's getting his veggie burger. <laughs> so go ahead, stop laughing. <laughs> I hate you, Arthur. <laughs> go ahead and get your burger. Um, Antonia. Okay, no, I want Antonia. Antonia's gonna walk over um, and sit with Arthur. And then how about Mila? You come over and kind of sit and chat. Um, and Kennedy's gonna waltz on over here too, okay? Because, uh, she wants to, you know? She, she, uh, I don't know, man. She just wants to, but oh my gosh, look, she's, she's gonna sit next to him. Oh my gosh, I already shove it so hard. I'm sorry, like, it's not official at all, but like, I, I just, I... My heart. <laughs> She's so cute. So let's tell a dramatic story. Or, no, don't leave, girl. What? Okay. Feed a bite. Stop. Gosh, they're alone. I'm sorry. I am all over the place right now. But um, Arthur's gonna be like, hey, thank you so much for inviting me. I really, really appreciate it. You look great tonight, by the way. And she's like, oh, thank you. And actually, I cannot hear them. Let me turn up my uh, sound real quick. All right, there we go. We should be able to hear them a little bit better now. Thank God. Um, but I did actually want her to um, get that holiday spirit thingy up so she has like a quote unquote good holiday and like she's not mad forever. <laughs> but let's blow horns with him. Um, so let's see, what are her moodlets right now? I like the sim, indeed I do. And a pleasant conversation. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Um, let's see, what else can we do that's kind of like Christmassy? Can we do that belly laugh? I want to do that. We can sing about the festival of lights. Oh, super cute. Oh, hello. Well, hello there, Miss Kennedy. She she's creeping. She's very creeping. Oh my gosh! But I don't know why. Um, lighting the holiday tree, ask if good or bad, and belly laugh. Can we do the belly laugh? Like I'm genuinely curious. Um, share wisdom with Arthur. Of course she would. She's she's so cute. Um, okay, belly laugh. Can't do a belly laugh. I'm not sure why. 
Um, so, okay, let's see. So I'm gonna see if we can light the tree, this tree right here. Um, with our friends. So Arthur, Reagan, Milo, Bella, Mariella, Kennedy. Let's go and see um, if we can light the tree because that would be awesome. Also, I don't you just love her sweater? Like her little Christmas sweater. She's so cute. Oh, but look. Oh, wait, I want to watch this. Okay. All right. I really want to see this. Okay. It said they lit it, but like it did, it did not change at all. Um, but she did get some festive spirit and festive lighting from that, which is really awesome. And I think to kind of end the night off, um, I did want to kind of get some alone time with Arthur because like he, him and Reagan are like pretty much our best friends right now. Um, but I did want to, how about Arthur, you come over here and light the bonfire real quick because I kind of want everybody to hang out around the fire. I think that would be um, really cute. But Antonia, you can go ahead and join him over here. Um, and I guess everybody will just join us over at the fire tonight. Look at this, look at him go. And then I do want to form a group with everybody so that we can like kind of all hang out together. Um, so do that. Can we, can we dance together? No, okay, let's just hang out together. What? Wait, she's standing next to him. Stop, I wanted a Tony at us. She is not, she's like, what, what are you doing? What are you doing, son? Oh my God, Arthur, look at him go. And Antonia's standing next to him. Okay, good, that's what I freaking wanted. But oh my gosh, look at that. I didn't, Antonia did not know that he could do that. And she is very, very impressed right now. I love that. Can we like, can we tip him? I wanna see if we can tip him. Oh my gosh, that'd be hilarious. No, okay, but I still wanna go over here and hang out with him. Why, why, why won't it let me freaking? Okay, go here. Oh, but that's so freaking sick, Arthur. I love that. Like, he is so talented. I'm simping so hard right now, like, not gonna lie. The night is coming to an end very soon. So, Arthur, no, I need you, I need you, son. Go over here. I did want um Arthur to say bye to Antonia because everybody has work tomorrow. And actually, does Antonia have work? I don't know. I don't think so. No, she doesn't. I know that because her birthday's tomorrow and we'll, we will actually be seeing Arthur tomorrow um, at our birthday dinner, which is really exciting. We just have a really fun filled weekend, um, but he, he's going to be like, how's your book coming along? And she's like, well, I haven't started yet. I still, you know, still need to get my creative juices flowing. And he's like, well, if you ever need a co-writer, just let me know. Cause like, <laughs> I haven't lived your life, but you know, if you tell me a little bit about it, maybe I can help you, um, just a tad bit. And she is really, really grateful for that. Um, but she like, uh, <laughs> Kennedy's been giving her the side eye all night and I'm not sure why. Um, or actually, you know, I, I, I am sure why. Okay. I'm pretty sure that, um, Kennedy can kind of see <laughs> that they are very, very close, which he's going to go home. Um, but Kennedy, Kennedy can kind of see that they are very close. Their friendship has grown very, very close over the past few months. Um, oh, is he sleeping on a bench? Oh my gosh. I hate that. Um, but Antonia is going to come over here and brighten her day, kind of talk to her and see, do not go to sleep. Why is everybody napping here? Oh my gosh. Okay, go ahead and brighten Kennedy's day. Um, but I do think Kennedy's low-key salty. And I was kind of worried about her just because um, if you don't remember, she was constantly yelling at Antonia for like unknown reasons when they first met. So, and it's been like, what, a month since they've known each other? So like, I feel like Kennedy's more comfortable in showing her true colors, whatever that may be. Um, but she is so pretty. I love her. Like <laughs> she may be mean. Well, we don't know yet. Um, but she is really pretty. But Antonia's gonna be like, hey, you know, I saw you kind of, you, you know, you're acting weird, a little weird tonight. Is everything okay? And she's like, oh, uh, yeah, you know, I just, uh, are you and Arthur like close? Are you friends? And she's like, well, yeah, like me and Arthur are actually best friends. <laughs> like I've known him for a while, and. Um, we both love books and stuff, but Antonia's like, yeah, we've been, we've been friends for a while. We've been best friends. Um, we want to actually write a book together. Isn't that crazy? And Kennedy, she, <laughs> um, I love how the first thing, um, that it shows here is for her to yell at her, pick on Antonia's appearance, which this might feel, this might make Antonia feel insecure. You know what? She's going to be like, um yeah i had a great time tonight i didn't know you guys were friends but uh <laughs> that's that's a very interesting 
Oh, she didn't do it. Okay, she 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 pussied out. Sorry, but she did. But I I can promise you, she was gonna say that. Um, hey, Antonia, that was <laughs> that's a interesting choice of sweater right there. Even though it's super cute, I feel like I just I don't get good vibes from Kennedy. I'm sorry. I feel like she really really likes Arthur, and I feel like jealousy is going to get the best of her. Um. Like Antonia is jealous too, but it's like she's not. She won't let it ruin things, you know. Um, but hey, Salim, what's up? I haven't talked to you all freaking night. Um, if you don't remember, him and Arthur are roommates, so they're pretty close. But um, I love Salim. He's so cute. I gave him a makeover too, so he's more like. I don't know, more, he, he was kind of basic, like, not that basic's a bad thing, but I don't know, I just wanted to throw a little bit of spice on him, you know, <laughs> a little bit of spice, um, but it looks like the Festival of Lights is over, Festival oh. of Lights was pretty good, Antonia got to do a lot of the things she wanted to, but not everything, and next year she hopes to do even more, okay, so probably next year we will do even more, but this was a, such a fun night, um, even though she fell on her butt, like, 10 billion times um but let's see festival of lights was awful kennedy thought it was awful which i'm very interested as to why but why did we get money i'm really curious <laughs> um but good holiday yay so i'm gonna go ahead and have her head home um and when we wake up tomorrow obviously none of the, none of these people will be um in our household anymore i just wanted to add them so we could kind of get everybody together in the same place you know what i'm saying um but i'm gonna go ahead and have antonia go home and tomorrow is her birthday which is gonna be really fun we're gonna have um a big birthday dinner with our friends and family so that'll be really exciting so i will pick up with you guys tomorrow all right mama llamas i'm gonna go ahead and end this episode right here I know it was a little short and I said that I would meet you guys back at the house, which that was that was a lie. I did actually decide to have Antonia's birthday festivities in the next episode because I feel like something's going to go very wrong with all these like um, festivities that she's having and stuff. I feel like something is bound to happen and I kind of want to keep that um, like her birthday to one episode. So yes, I am ending in here. I know it was a little short, but I promise you, um, next video is going to be super crazy. If you enjoyed this episode of Antonia's Legacy, don't forget to leave it a like. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to become a mama llama. I love you guys. Bye.